Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the MACD indicator. And the MACD is short for Moving Average Convergence and Divergence. So basically, in a nutshell, this is telling me if the bullish or bearish pattern of a particular stock on a particular time period is either losing momentum or gaining momentum, okay? Now, if you watched our other videos, you already know kind of what you're looking at here on the charts. You understand that this green line that we have set up is the exponential moving average. You understand that this red line is the simple moving average. You understand that all of these horizontal lines are the Fibonacci retracement levels. And you understand that this indicator here is your RSI as well as your volume uh, bars here. So if you have not seen those videos yet, highly recommend that you go and you watch those before this video because it's going to help uh, give you a better understanding of what you're seeing on the charts. Okay, so our MACD indicator. First of all, if you want to set it up, go to Studies, Edit Studies, go to the search bar, type in MACD, double-click it, and it'll come up over here on your indicator section go to settings here make sure that this is what you have on your inputs fast length 12 slow length 26 MACD length 9 average type exponential I don't do any breakout signals for the MACD and I honestly did not touch any of this below I just left it as is and then I hit OK hit apply and then it'll appear on your settings below Okay, so basically what we're looking at here is, again, we're checking to see if a bullish or bearish pattern is losing steam and could we be moving into another pattern. So these lines that you see below are either going to be running side by side or they're going to be crossing. When they're running side by side, they're going to be representing either a bullish or bearish pattern. So if they're running side by side and you see red, then basically you're seeing a bearish pattern. And what I mean by that is when we say bull and bear, think about how a bull fights and how a bear fights. Okay, If a bear is fighting, it's going to swipe down. So that means you're going to have a downward direction in the market or a trend. A bear, I'm sorry, a bull is going to put its head down and go up. So that's where you see upward momentum. Okay, so just keep that in mind. So if I'm looking at this particular pattern here, the further apart the lines are on my MACD, the more momentum that particular pattern has. So notice how this these lines are pretty far apart, and you have a lot of red coming in, right? And you have a lot of selling happening, and also on the bars that we have for the MACD, they're going to be pretty bright. So this basically this bearish pattern is uh, sell, it's it's a it's a very big bearish pattern because we sold off a lot. We happen to sell off from 256 all the way to a low of 211. So that's a pretty significant drop. And then what happens is once that bearish pattern starts to lose steam, you'll see that these bars will get smaller but they'll also get darker that's telling me that i'm losing momentum on that particular pattern but also my lines are starting to get closer together okay once my lines get closer together i should really pay attention because i could be changing from a bearish pattern to a bullish pattern and vice versa so in this particular case my lines get closer together once they cross notice how i get a buy signal and then as soon as they cross, notice how I'm getting a buy signal that happens to close partially above that EMA line, that exponential moving average. Okay, then we cross over from red, basically crossing over to green. And then see how my lines are getting further apart. And notice how my stock price is going up. However, whenever I got my doji candle here, what happened? Smaller bar, darker color. Now we're starting to kind of lose steam on the bearish pattern and we can potentially be going back into, I'm sorry, losing steam on the bullish pattern. And now we're potentially going back into a bearish pattern. And you see that the stock is continuously starting to 
um, you know, slowly move in the downward direction. If we continue to see some negative price action, what's going to happen are these lines as they get closer together. Again, they're going to cross up and then we're going to see some more movement to the downside. And you're going to see, again, red bars coming here. And eventually, whenever that bearish pattern is losing steam, you're going to see the lines here cross over again. And then the stock will make its way back up at least temporarily. Each of the time periods are going to look a little bit different for your MACD. So, for example, on the four hour, it showed me that I was in the green and I was about to go to the red. However, for the one hour, the past hour, we've been selling off a good bit, but it shows that my lines are getting closer together. And this next hour, people may come, come in and buy up this stock, at least temporarily, and test this resistance level of 238.96. So the time periods are going to be, uh, make, make the MACD and the RSI look different you know, for every single time period. So you notice that's different. And even if you go to, let's say, the three minute, three minutes is going to look different as well. So if you're going to <clears throat> make an entry on this particular stock, you know that long term, at least, it's probably not a good idea to get in now because we see that we might have potential for downside. But it's something to keep an eye on. So if we start selling off, and we get down to this key support level, if we're about to cross back over to green, then I can say, okay, long term, I might be able to do, um, you know, do, do a swing trade on this. But let me check and see what the one hour is. If I'm going to enter in, I can go back over to the one hour and I could, you know, see over that next hour, should I get in now or is it going to get a little bit cheaper before it crosses over? Okay, so that's it in a nutshell, guys. I hope that this video helped. Uh, make sure that you hit the like button and make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And other than that, we'll see you in the next video. Take care.